Hello, this is Lindsay from the Cora J. Belden Library, and we're back with another video tutorial today. Um, we've been looking at different free video chat services, and today we're going to take a look at a service called Whereby. Um, so the way that you want to access Whereby is to head to their website. Um, I am using a PC computer and I'm using Firefox browser. Um, so all you'd want to do is come up to your address bar and type in whereby.com. That will bring you to their website. Uh, whereby is a free video chatting service. It's very easy to use. They do have a free version that is available. It enables you to chat with up to four people. Uh, so here's the free version. And as you can see, they have four participants. Um, they also have screen sharing available. You can lock rooms um, and they, they have a new feature, which is a YouTube integration. So you can watch YouTube videos during your video chat. If you needed to have more participants, uh, I would recommend upgrading to one of the paid versions. They're relatively inexpensive. You can get one for $10 a month. Uh, but for today, we're going to go over some of the features of the free subscription. Um, so to get started, we're going to come over here and click on the button. And then you're going to want to sign up for an account. You will need an account if you are looking to host a video chat. Uh, for those people who are joining a video chat or are participants, you should not need to sign up for an account. We'll go over that in just a moment. But if you are going to be the host of a video chat, you will need to sign up for an account. So all you'll do is come in, come here and type in your name uh, and put in your email. It doesn't necessarily have to be your work email. It could be a personal email as well. Um, I have actually already registered for an account, so I'm going to click on log in. And then I will type in my email address um, and we're going to click the log in button. Uh, and the way that you sign in to Whereby is they actually email you a six digit code that you will need to sign in to your account. So we're going to take that code and we're going to type it in over here. And we're going to click log in. So this is kind of our whereby dashboard. And you'll see here they have something called a room. Um, so think of your room as your video chat. Uh, up to, up, as I said, up to four people can participate. So it can be you as the host and then three additional people that will be in your video chat room. Um, over here on the left hand side, we'll see some other links. This is where they have the subscription information that we just went over. Uh, here you can see account information. Uh, they have some privacy policies and information. And then of course here on the bottom is your log out button. Uh, we're gonna go back to the rooms and uh, we're gonna click on go to room. One of the nice things about Whereby is not only is it free, um, but it does actually ask for permission before starting your video camera or your microphone. Uh, so here you can see that the camera and microphone are not currently active. So I'm gonna click on request permissions and then Firefox pops up with a little button here that we're going to click allow and that's going to initiate the microphone. If you want to skip this step in the future, you can check mark this box uh, and then click the join meeting button. So as you can see, my video camera is active. I've started a video chat. Uh, the next step is going to be to invite up to three additional people to join me. So uh, they have a very convenient button right here that says copy link. So all we have to do is copy that. Then we can go back over to my email. We can create a new group email and we're just going to 
paste in that link and send it off to up to three additional people. All they have to do is open their email, click on that link, and they should be able to join me in my video chat. Uh, down here at the bottom of the screen, you'll see some different features that you have available. So again, we have a button here to control the camera. We can turn the camera on or off. We can also turn the microphone on or off. Uh, as I mentioned, the free version does come with a screen share option. So if we click on that, you can see that it asks for permission and you're able to select the screen that you would like to share. <clears throat> if you click on this button here that says people, you'll be able to see a list of all of your video chat participants. Um, I am the only one here at the moment for this particular tutorial, uh, but you would see a list here on the right hand side. And again, you would be able to control uh, the video and microphone options for those participants. Once you are finished with your video chat, you can of course click the leave button here down at the bottom and that will end your video chat. So that's it, it's super easy. Um, as I said, you do need to sign up for a free account if you are hoping to host a video chat, but if you are a participant, you do not need to have an account. All you need to have is a link sent to you by the host. So if you have any questions, again, feel free to contact the library. We're happy to help.